Molly, for those that don't know, a total solar eclipse is nothing short of spectacular. It can take your breath away. So what is it exactly? Well, a total solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth and completely blocks the sun. As the moon starts to move across the sun, an eerie darkness settles in, as if it were dawn or dusk. And then look around off on the horizon there, and you'll see what appears to be a 360 degree sunset. And Alex, you'll also be able to see Venus and Jupiter. It takes about an hour or so for the moon to block out the sun. As the last slice of light shines through the rugged lunar landscape, it creates what looks like a chain of bright circles. That's called Bailey's beads. In those final seconds, there is one last bright flash of light. Combined with the emerging corona, we get something called the diamond ring. Then, totality. Finally. Mm, <laughs> and it's the only time that you can see the corona or the sun's outer atmosphere from Earth. Now, depending on where you are, that could be up to almost four and a half minutes, nearly double that of the total solar eclipse in 2017. Now, slowly the moon, that's going to begin to move away. And as it does, you guessed it. It's a repeat performance here of the diamond ring and Bailey's beads, but in reverse. You get to see it again. Here's something crazy. During totality, animals will begin to act like it's nightfall, and temperatures will drop more than five degrees in some places. It might be out there. Well, the path of totality, that stretches a pretty long way. We're talking from Texas all the way to Maine. But don't despair. If you're not in the exact track, you will still see a partial eclipse. Best case scenario, mm -hmm. you've got an unobstructed view of the sky and it's a clear day. But even if there are clouds, you'll still see that unnatural daytime darkness. Just don't forget, you gotta wear those eclipse glasses during the event. During totality, you can take them off to witness the corona, but they need to immediately go back on to protect your eyesight as the moon moves away. And then just enjoy. After all, the next total solar eclipse to cross the U.S. won't be until August 2044. Wow. <gasps> Amazing. Unbelievable.